Yes, yes. How, how you doing, everybody? How you doing out there? Yes, yes. This is me, a.k.a. Dave Nation. That's Dave Nation. Don't forget. Don't forget. This is a live podcast coming to you live. Yes, yes. We want to so, uh, want to do an update to 9-11. Yes, that's uh, September 11th, 2001. Yes, this is an updated podcast to uh, 9-11 to what had happened on that fateful day 17 years ago this coming September. Yes, it's 17 years later that 9-11 did happen in the in New York area. That's um, a low Manhattan area. Um, this is just an update to a, a 9-11 Update to a 9-11 update podcast, and I just want to give you guys an update. Yes, I I, I was the I was the guy who watched this uh, live. I mean, live as it happened. So on that fateful day on 9-11. Well, actually, at the time, the actual day when it actually happened, it kind of not uh, a lot of people were thinking. Uh, a lot of people remember these are from the twin towers. The twin towers on that fateful day when uh, the unthinkable happened. Two airplanes, two airplanes hit the twin towers on that fateful day, that fateful morning, about around nine thirty in the morning of uh, September eleventh, two thousand one, and it's been seventeen years later. I'm going to give you an update, guys, and very much update. This is a podcast. I'm going to send this to YouTube, and it's going to be an update. So, like I said, it's going to be an update so to 9-11. So, like I said, the whole situation about 9-11 was, uh, was pretty terrible, pretty ter- terrible indeed. Uh, there was a lot going on. Uh, I was thinking about Superman. Where was Superman on 9-11? That's what everybody was thinking. Where was Superman when you need him? But you would have to... Uh, he would have to save a bunch of people, a bunch of people in 9-11. And a lot of people, after all that, said it was an inside job. I mean, the North, the American people were saying it was an inside job. The government was hiding a few things. And it was almost, it was it was kind of like it never even happened. It was like, it was like New York City said to the um, uh, American people, you know, years later, I remember, I remember, like in two years after that 9/11, everybody was high alert, and I mean, really, everybody was in high alert in New York City. Remember, this was two years later after it happened, so everybody was in high alert. They'd have the um, around the New York City area, but years later, here we are, 17 years later, at 1717, 17 years later, 9/11. Uh, we still we still remember that fateful day 17 years ago, but people who uh, were there at the time when 9/11 happened, there was some video footage on YouTube about it. Two airplanes hit the twin towers. That's twin towers from Lower Manhattan, and uh, like I said, this is just an update. This is just uh, just an update. Remember, this happened 17 years ago. A lot of people have their stories about it. I have mine. So it's just 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 is just an update to 9/11, and what I like to say to all the people out there who were there around the New York Manhattan area who saw this all happening as it unfold. Um, remember, it started at 9:30 in the morning and ended really in the afternoon. So full day, full 9/11. At the time, everybody was thinking about terrorism was going to happen. Uh, the whole world was going. Hen, hen, a hen basket, and I was thinking at the time when I was seeing this on TV, where was Superman? Where was Superman when you need him on a 9-11 event like that? Or where was God? For instance, where was Jesus? Where was God? And I was just, I was just thinking, it was just, just a terrible day. I said on one of my videos that that I thank God, uh, none of my Canadian fr- uh, family was in, in New York City at that time of 9-11. Thank God for that. No uh, extended family or anything like that ever, uh, was there in those buildings. And thank God for that. But still, I calculated it's been 17 years this coming September. This coming September, which is about a couple more months in of uh, close to halfway through 16 and a half years ago. 16 and a half years ago, 9-11 actually happened. Can you believe that? It's been 17 years and this is just an update, a podcast update to 9-11. That's September 11, 2001. 
and it's been 17 years later. I just want to do a podcast about this, and I know you people out there want to make a comment about this. I'll put this through, I'll put this on YouTube, and I know you guys want to hear about it. And this is just an update, an update to a podcast that I did or a video that I did about 9/11. And, um, yeah, I said all those things I said in the video, but I'm going to say even more. So I'm just, I'm just heartfelt every time I saw that uh, video. But years, as years go by, I don't really think about it so much. I tend to not think about it so much. But I thought I would give an update to 9-11. Uh, I calculate it's been 17 years later, 17 years later, that 9-11 actually happened. Can you believe it? On American soil. That's when Donald Trump wasn't even Donald Trump. It was George W. Bush that was there on his watch that uh, that 9/11 happened. Now, folks, uh, uh, just a little little uh, little timbit here. Um, uh, Donald Trump, who's the president of the United States, he was there, but he wasn't the president of the United States. George W. Bush was. So, like I said, it was on George W. Bush's watch and not Donald Trump's watch. So, uh, Barack Obama and Donald Trump, who's currently a president of the United States, no 9-11 from Barack Obama or Donald Trump. It happened on George W. Bush's watch. 17 years later, my friends, 17 years later. Can you believe it? And uh, many people don't think about it very often. Everybody wants to move forward in life and not, not remember 9-11 so much. And uh, we just uh, we just uh, had the royal wedding. We just had the um, the uh, uh, the music awards. But anyway, this podcast is just geared to an update for the nine eleven that happened in September eleven two thousand one, and this is seventeen years later. And I'm still uh, I'm still a little, a little upset about that. But at the time, at the time, I didn't tell a lot of people about this. But when I was watching it live, when CNN or uh, any of the local stations were broadcasting it, and it was real, it was real to my eyes. I'll tell you this much, folks: it was real to my eyes. They also had the Twin Towers uh, Building Seven which they haven't uh, concluded with that one, um, and the Pentagon. Uh, about five planes uh, almost almost nearly missed. Uh, the, other, the other three missed the uh, targets. Uh, but yes, 17 years ago, 9-11 had happened. And that fateful morning of, of the New Yorkers in Lowell, Manhattan. And I saw it all in full on that Faithful day, that faithful morning. Can you believe that? It's been 17 years later that actually happened. And folks, I'm just telling you, I can't believe it's been 17 years later. And I did see, when I was on YouTube, I did see Donald Trump. But at the time, Donald Trump was in President of the United States. He gave uh, he gave us uh, an interview on a French station, a very special French station. He uh, commented about it on the day that 9-11, I think it was two days after it. But, um, but uh, yeah, so 9-11 happened 17 years ago. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for all you people out there would do really good, really good, really, really, really good. So anyway, I want to do a channel for now. And thank you for listening. Thank you for um, watching. And I hope there's never a 9-11 ever again. In this uh, 17 years before I ever pass away. Um, and that's it. Peace.